Howdy. Construction is still underway. Um, I do not know when I'm going to get to a stopping point today, but what I've completed this weekend is Canopy Phase 5, which again is Phase 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The Canopy has a total of 7 phases, so 5, 6, 7. This is an interesting part because we're accustomed to this relatively straight line and it now deviates up. And the reason it does that is because that line continues up along with the bulkhead and that'll create the hoop that will mount to that area. Everything's looking great. You can see I can lay that on there and it hits my target for the fuselage main diameter. So that's gonna hit right where it should. Same thing with this guy here. And I'm sure these do as well. The bottom frame continues for about a foot straight. I don't know why, but that's probably part of the jig for the B36 that they used, but it does. I assume that Let's go on the other side. I assume that the frames, like so, were in this area. So I went ahead and cut for that angle. But the lateral frame continues to the base frame. These are going to be held on by just standard nuts. And there'll be a plate of steel there. I don't think I've explained how the, um, the external surface of the glazing or the glass attaches. You can see where I've drilled a small hole to, or a big hole and two smaller holes. Let me get a, uh, get a nut so I can see what I'm talking about. Get one of these. The way this works is these things are called um, speed nuts or U-nuts. They simply slide in like so, one per side. And that's a threaded area that acts like a nut. And it, when you, put, when you tighten up the screw, it, it all pulls it together and puts a lot of torque on there. And the screws will not go anywhere. But once those are installed, then you'll have a piece of... On the real aircraft, it's magnesium, but magnesium is extremely expensive. So I'm using aluminum. What happens is, is this aluminum, these plexiglass pieces will come to right here on either side and you put the aluminum on there and there'll be some weather sealants or something of that nature. And it presses down these screws and that's what holds the outer layer of the glazing on. Now, I've been studying the B-36 religiously for 20, 30 years. And I just now realized something. <clears throat> These are called the pilot's clear vision panels. Here, 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 here. There, there, and there. They're actually dual paned. The top one attaches like I just explained, but the bottom pane attaches from the bottom and it's pushed in there by some kind of stripping. And I believe they're removable. The reason they did that is they actually blew hot air through the frames and it will allow the hot air to go in between the two panels. They have to be removable because moisture builds up or condensation, I guess, and you have to be able to remove that panel, pull it down to wipe this clean. I don't know if they did that in flight. I would assume they had to be able to, but there's a lot about it in the flight manuals that I just discovered. The engineer, he also has clear vision panels that are about right there. So it'll be in phase six. So he has two panels that act just like that. But the rest of them, from what I understand, are single pane. I'm gonna continue this line up, connect it. That'll put me at about 100 inches. I can haul 102. 
I should have remembered that because I drove tractor trailers for three years and our trucks were 102 inches wide. I believe that's about it. I will see you next time.